Simon is conflicted about the nurses talking to the government. As a striking paramedic, he believes health workers should be united in their fight for pay and working conditions. It makes us feel like second-class citizens and the frustration and disappointment and anger at the government's choice to speak to the nurses' um, representatives and not to our unions is really tangible now. The last time paramedics went out on strike, they stood shoulder to shoulder with nurses on the picket line. But in the future, they may not have RCN nurses alongside them. There are five unions representing health workers in dispute with the government, but inside this building, only one of those unions is in talks with the government, the RCN. Now, that's led to some anger and what can only be described as a sense of betrayal. One of those other unions, Unison, has said in a very strongly worded statement that the government can't afford to pick and mix solutions and that it risks making a bad situation even worse. That frustration was echoed by the BMA, whose junior doctors are set to announce the dates for their strikes. They've given the health secretary until tomorrow to meet. I understand that he's a very busy man, and it's almost because, like a schoolboy, he's left all his homework until the last minute. He's got multiple disputes now with multiple professions, and we've all come to the same moral calculation. Nurses, physiotherapists, doctors, we have to take strike action. We want, we want the talks with the RCN are expected to continue until the end of this week and are likely to focus on next year's pay rise, which is due in April. One option is to backdate it by several months, effectively giving nurses an extra pay boost for part of this year. This year, nurses and other NHS staff below the grade of doctor were given an average pay rise of 4.75%. For next year, the government has proposed an increase of 3.5%, for all NHS staff. The devolved governments have made increased pay offers to nursing staff. In Scotland, the RCN has recommended its members accept a 6.5% pay rise. And in Wales, nurses are being balloted on a new pay deal that would increase last year's backdated pay offer by 3%. So while there is some optimism, a settlement can be reached with the RCN, other healthcare unions are warning of a broken NHS workforce, one that is now divided to. Ashish Joshi, Sky News.